Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology and it is of course time to start thinking about the future and when I talk about the future I talk about the end of support of Windows 10. I had a series of questions today that uh, gave me ideas for a couple of videos uh, a few videos for Windows 10 that uh, will um, probably help a lot of people wondering what to do. So the first thing is to know if your PC is capable or not of Windows 11 because if we continue into the future it might be something that you'll have to think about. So it's easy to know um, most PCs if you go to the settings go to update and security and uh, check Windows Update you will have a message on the upper right corner that will say if you're not supported. So that means here it says this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. Now what is important to know is that for some people this message is not representative of the reality. And what I mean is that some computers have simply a TPM off in the BIOS. And that's the only reason why it says that you cannot move on. So it's important to check out if, you know, with somebody that knows PCs maybe more, or if a tech-savvy user, a friend that you know is good with computers that might know this, um, um, the answer to this question, well, it is important to check out. A lot of PCs that are currently in the uh, non-supported are actually capable of moving on to Windows 11. Um, the estimate right now is that at least 50% of all the PCs are capable of moving to Windows 11, but about 5 to 8% says they aren't capable, and the reason is, of course, TPM turned off or some other little thing that you can actually easily change to make it um, to Windows 11. And that is something to think about because end of support is end of support and you'll have to to make a choice. Um, Windows 11 will be your choice or extended support. We're going to talk about that in the next um, video. So check that out if your PC is or not uh, requirement capable <laughs> for Windows 11 and uh, if you're not we'll talk about the other possibilities in the next video if you are well you'll have to think about what you do next uh, will you want to move on to Windows 11 or if you're you know happy with Windows 10 you might you know if the Paid support for Microsoft isn't very expensive. You might want to keep your PC on Windows 10 for a few years. That's a possibility. Uh, of course, we talked about zero patch. Once again, next video, we'll talk about all of those possibilities. Uh, also for unsupported. And if you do go to Windows 11, if your decision is that, then you will have to do it uh, either through Windows Update it will show up there. It might be already there for you waiting to s for you to click on it. Uh, but there's no rush. Once again, uh, you know you still have more than a year. Um, so it's it's either that and uh, move on to Windows 11, or just you know pay for extended support. Uh, whatever you do is you have time to think about it, and that's why these videos are early because it's you know more than a year you have time to think about what am I going to do next if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching